welcome back to my wonderful subscribers. Thank you all so much for coming back to my channel. Um, February favorites, guys. <clears throat> I don't think I did a January favorites this year because there was just too much stuff that I talked about in other favorites from the previous month, which was December, and I didn't want to repeat myself. So, um, this month is a bit different. I have a few things that are repeats. I have a few things that are newer. I am trying to embrace my spring color lippies right now because I'm hoping, now here's my theory, I'm hoping that um, by me embracing the spring colors on my lips, that spring is going to get its ass in gear and get back to Canada ASAP because I'm sitting two days at home from a snowstorm that I was on vacation and I couldn't really enjoy my vacation for those two days because it pretty much snowed, so not like I could do much, you know? Um, so that is why I'm sporting a springy lip. Um, this was a Sephora matte lip color that I got in a sample bag from Sephora when I placed an order a while back a few weeks ago and um, I actually just cracked it open today so I tried it on you know I'm wearing it with a lip liner I'm just, you know testing it out see how it goes I mean it's very comfortable on the lips I'll give you that but it does transfer so that's kind of like my e kind of thing um, I mean, obviously any, any regular lipstick will transfer, but I'm so obsessed with matte lipsticks where they don't trans, matte liquid lipsticks where they don't transfer. So this one, I'm trying to be a little careful so I don't smudge it off and all that jazz. So, you know, I'm still in the testing mode with this lip color, this lip formula, I should say. I will definitely get back to you on the lip formula and, you know, my thoughts on it at a later date. But until then, I am just talking to you today about my February favorites. Now, February was a very short month, um, 29 days this year, which is technically a leap year. Um, usually it's 28 days. But anyways, I'm not even going to get, that's a whole other video on leap year and all that jazz. But, um, you know, this, this month was a short month. Um, tried a few things here and there. And I am going to show you what I have been loving, what I have been using um, in the month of February and, you know, what I have been enjoying in the month of February. So with that said, I'm going to dive right in. Um, I'm going to start off with um, something that maybe not a lot of people want to talk about or not a lot of people want to see, but it's deodorant. Um, I used to use the secret deodorant that was the clear gel. It was a lavender one. Um, the, that particular deodorant actually has aluminum in it, which I didn't even know of until recently, like the last six months maybe. And so as soon as I finished all of those secret deodorants I had, cause I had a couple backups, I ended up switching to the Dove, the cool essentials. Um, the problem is that I thought that it did not have aluminum in it and I was wrong because at the top it says aluminum zirconium um is like 15.2 percent my whole my whole thing on deodorants is that <sighs> i can't even describe i tried the la vanilla you know the la vanilla one from sephora i tried the little ones of those um the first one i tried it was so dried out that it didn't even like apply nicely on under my pits um and because it doesn't have any aluminum in it it really i can smell bo and i'm like no 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 the whole point of deodorant is to help you not perspire or help cover the perspiring scent um and it was just not working for me. I, the La Vanilla, I mean, it's nice if you're like not going out, you're staying in the house for the day, you're not over like sweating, over exerting yourself. But when I'm thinking about it, I'm thinking about the, um, you know, the summertime is coming, you're going to perspire without even doing anything because it's so damn hot out. You need a really strong deodorant. Now I know aluminum is supposed to be bad for you. I get it. I, I hear, I hear the, the ringings of the bells, but I, I just can't find a a good aluminum free deodorant that works and that's why I keep going back to a deodorant that has aluminum in it this has been my favorite one um, so far uh, aside from the secret the secret lavender one um, the only difference is that this one leaves a white cast because obviously it's if I it's like a white stick um, in the summertime it's not as bad because obviously you're wearing a bit uh, more tank tops you're not wearing you know t-shirts that you can see the residue on um, but I don't know where else to go, guys. Like, I'm at, a, I'm at a stump for um, deodorant. This has been a good one for me, I have to admit. I know there's the whole white cast situation, but I really don't care about that right now. I'm looking for something that'll keep me from, you know, smelling really gross. And so far, this has been really, really decent, um, aside from the secret one that I used to use. So if you guys are in the market for a deodorant, you're not picky about ingredients in there. This one is a good one. Um, it does have a bit of aluminum in it, I'm not going to lie, but let's face it, the aluminum is, is the ingredient that helps you stay fresh. So, um, I mean, it, it depends on all your 
your preferences, whether you want to be an all natural type of girl or you're okay with dealing with, you know, certain chemical ingredients that you apply to your body. Like I said, and I've said this before in many other videos in, you know, in the beginning of my channel, um, beauty products have all kinds of stuff in them. <laughs> it's sometimes it's impossible to, um, keep, to keep away from certain ingredients, especially if you're the type of girl like me who tries out every possible beauty product under the sun. But I have to say, if you're in the market for a cheap deodorant and it works, this is one you can definitely check into because it does, it does do the job and the scent is very refreshing. It's a cucumber scent and it's cheap at this point. Sometimes you gotta just look for affordability and a budget, <laughs> not for any. Anyways, moving along. Um, so sticking with the cleansingness, I have been loving the shower gel by Lush. This is the olive branch shower gel. Um, I have had this for quite some time. I'm trying to use it up because... Um, usually they have like some sort of expiration date. This one's kind of gotten a little bit more liquidy on me. It's usually a gel type of formula, but it still works and it still smells amazing. Yeah, it still smells amazing. Kind of smells like a guy. I'm not going to lie. Sorry guys. My, my freaking nose is leaking. I've been getting over a cold. Um, so it's a superbly softening, reassuring shower gel made with fair for La fair for life, olive oil, fresh mandarins and bergamot oil. Um, I just love how this leaves my skin feeling soft and fresh and clean and not greasy. So I may consider buying the full size of this once I get through some more of my, um, my bigger body washes, but I had to use this. I have to start, like, obviously you can tell that it's almost, I'm getting there. It's getting to be finished because it's on its way out of expiration. And sticking with the Lush deal, I have been using this fair, fair trade foot lotion as a body cream. Now I know you guys are thinking, but why is a foot lotion? Blah, 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 blah. Well, you know what? In all honesty, Foot lotions can be used on all over your body. It's very hydrating lotion. It's very greasy in the sense where that's how hydrating it is. Um, that's why they usually say to use these on your feet because if you have really cracked feet or very dry feet, it really helps hydrate. I like using this on my hands, on my elbows, my feet, and my knees because that's where I get the driest the most on my body. Um, so I have been loving this. And it smells like... Um, it's got a mixture of cocoa butter, but it also smells like... Um, like cin cinnamony pepper, no peppermint, more like the peppermint. As you can tell, I'm like halfway through, but, um, have been loving it. It's quite expensive. What I repurchased this probably not anytime soon because I have too much lotion. Um, but if you're in the market for something to really keep your hands, your feet and your joints, um, hydrated and not dry and cracky, this one is definitely a good one. Um, and if you're only using it in those places and not your entire body, this should last you for uh, quite a while. The size of this is 225 grams. Um, and they don't have it in liter, they don't have it in liter size, so I can't really tell you if, um, what liter it is. You guys do the math. Google it. Uh, keeping up with the cleansing showerness, um, I did, I did receive these by Influencer to review. Um, I actually posted a review video for this line. This is the L'Oreal Arginine Resist Times 3 Conditioner and Shampoo. Um, it came with three products. It came with these two products and a, a leave-in spray that I also use. And I actually do enjoy as well. Um, but uh, I couldn't find it in my bathroom. I'm kind of wondering if my mom took it this morning to use because she likes to use my products. Um, anyways, so these two are a shampoo and conditioner. They are supposed to help strengthen and reinforce your hair. Um, also prevent fallout. Um, also prevent breakage um in the hair because i do have a little bit of breakage going on in here i don't know if you guys can see these little yeah there there's a couple of them underneath too like yeah see that that's breakage right there so um you know influencer sent me these to test out and review and i was actually really impressed with them um i have tried lots of stuff from the l'oreal hairline i tried their sulfate free I think it was rosemary and mint shampoo and conditioner. They were really good. I really did like those. They really helped, I found, with my scalp health and um, uh, dandruff. Um, but I have not, or I don't remember if I have, um, ever tried the arginine hair strength in line. So when they sent them to me for review, I was really impressed because I absolutely love trying out beauty products. I mean, this is what I do. This is the channel that I do it on. And if you guys know me... I'm a lover of L'Oreal, so I was like, you know, perfect. I actually tried this out for a few weeks, and I was really impressed. They claim 64% less fallout. Um, I was seeing more like 50, 55% less fallout, but that was still good for me. Um, I couldn't complain on that. Um, would I consider repurchasing? I probably would. 
I wouldn't repurchase every single time I need shampoo because if you guys don't know, um, using the same shampoo over and over and over again for a long period of time is actually bad for your hair. Um, your hair will get used to it and it will no longer clean your hair like it should. Um, and your hair will get used to the formula and therefore it will not work. So um, once I finish this, this particular set, I will definitely consider purchasing um, from the same line, a different, uh, a different type of shampoo and conditioner and kind of do rotate from there. Um, it does work if you're having issues with hair fallout, with breakage, a lot of breakage will happen up here at the top. For those of you who are experiencing it, um, they pretty much look like flyaways because they're so short, they stick out. Um, if you guys are having that issue, I would definitely try these two together. Um, I think it took about, I want to say it took about five washes, five actual washes to, to see a difference. And I was actually really impressed just with that, you know, um, five washes is not that bad, if, especially if you wash your hair twice a week, you're looking at within, you know, two and a half weeks, you're noticing a difference. So that's pretty good. Um, some people might see a, a difference sooner. Some people might see a, a difference a little later. It depends on your hair. Personally, for me, these were amazing. I have, I think maybe about half of the bottle left, um, of each bottle. So, that has been a thumbs up in my book, and I am really, really impressed with those. This face brush, I've, I have mentioned before, this is by uh, Real Techniques, um, and this is the sculpting brush. Picked it up around Christmas time, it looks like this. You can definitely contour with it if you want. It's very, very dense. This is why I like it, because it's very dense. Um, I use this brush to apply my MAC Mineralized Moisture Foundation. Um, let's be honest, I can't stand that foundation. That foundation, the Mineralized Moisture Foundation, um, not that I can't stand it. It just, it's too hydrating for my skin. Um, my skin can get very dry. However, because I really deposit a lot of moisture into my skin with my skincare products, my skin doesn't need the moisture in my foundation as much. So it's a little too hydrating for me. So not that I don't like it. It's just not fit for my skin type is what I'm trying to say. So um, I've been using this to apply it because I found that it shears it out quite a bit on my skin so that my skin doesn't feel like it's got water literally sitting on my skin because that's what it felt like when I used that foundation. So this brush has been really helping with evening out the foundation, that type of foundation on my face just so that I'm not feeling like I've got like literally water droplets sitting on my skin. So love that. Um, it's affordable guys. It's like under $15 at the drugstore. You can definitely invest in this and you know, the real techniques brushes are so amazing for the price. That is all I'm going to say. So thumbs up for that. When I'm not using my mineralized foundation, my, my mineralized moisture foundation by Mac, I have been using the youth code BB cream. Um, and this has been, this is another L'Oreal product. This has been in my collection for a while. It's got SPF 15 and it's a medium shade. It's a gel like consistency. I've shown you guys in previous, uh, favorites. I want to say like last year, do I have lipstick on my chin? <sighs> Sorry guys. I want to say like last year, um, I have been using this cause again, it's been in my collection for a while. I'm trying to use it up so that we can get it out of my collection. Um, it, um, it does do really nicely on the skin when that, when this is all you're wearing, it gives a little bit of a glow. Um, it doesn't transfer on clothes, which is what I like. Um, and I really do enjoy it. So, um, I have to say this is a thumbs up for me. I'm really impressed with it. Um, I am almost done. If, if I squeeze everything down, I'm to about like here. I'm about here. So I'm, I'm getting there. I'm getting there. I like to use this more on the weekends because it's just a little bit easier to work with. Like it's a lighter formula. It doesn't transfer if I were to put my head on his shoulder or, you know, he's just not getting makeup all over him when I'm using this. So that's why I do like this for that reason. Um, so this is more of like my weekend foundation slash BB cream and my mineralized moisture by Mac is usually my weekday going to work face kind of deal. But this is, have, has been a thumbs up. I have been enjoying it. No lip products. I have no, okay. I have one lip product, but it's not even a colored lip product. I have no colored lip products this week or sorry, this month, because I haven't really been using too many colored lip products. I mean, today, this is the first day that I'm actually sporting a lip color, probably in like I want to say four weeks. No joke. Yeah, I know it's embarrassing. I have been keeping it very minimal makeup this month. Um, just because sometimes a girl needs to breathe, like her skin needs to breathe. Her lips need to breathe. Her eyes need to breathe. Um, I'm not wearing makeup every day. And when I am, it's, it's not too, too over the top. 
But anyways, with that said, I have been sporting my lip balm. And this is my Nivea Pure Natural Mineral and Mint Lip Balm. Um, looks like this. It goes on clear. I, as you can tell, I have put quite a big dent in it. I started it this month and I've, I have put a quite a big dent in it. Um, I usually use this during the day when I'm not wearing makeup and right before bed. I like to slather this on to kind of keep my lips hydrated, especially in the winter time right now. My lips can get cracked very easily. So this has been a thumbs up. It's drugstore. It's affordable under $5 for sure. My brows, I'm, I have been using my Anastasia brow powders, which you guys have seen in my favorites continuous times. What I have not always mentioned is what I use to set my brows with. And that is the Anastasia brow. What is this? Brow gel. This is the brow gel. It's the tinted brow gel in the shade chocolate. I love chocolate colored makeup products so this is what it looks like it's got a little bit of a goldish undertone to it which is fine by me i don't have any problems with that um i don't know if you guys can tell but i'm like down to here so um i do like and i really do enjoy this i love how it sets my brows and it does not move them which is what i love about this it's 30 dollars. yeah it's a little pricey but it's actually worth it because your brows do not move once you set that with the brow gel they do have different colors and they also have the clear brow gel so if you don't want to use a colored one you can go with the clear one um i prefer the colored one just because it gives it adds a little bit more color to my my brows um to kind of you know just amp it up just a little bit but that has been a thumbs up as well my nail polish, um, you know, I have been sporting nudes pretty much all month long just because I have been recovering from this hand from nail breakage. Um, but, you know, before I start cracking open my springtime colors, because let's face it, I cannot live without my spring and summer shades. Um, I have been rocking right now this OPI, what is this? Infinite Shine Nail Polish in the shade Set in Stone. So, um, it's like this purpley gray, um, stony color. Love it. Um, love it for fall and winter. I think that this is part of their regular, their regular line, like their, what's it called? You know, their regular, their regular core line. So this will always be around if you guys want to pick it up for next uh, fall and winter. I'm sure it'll be around for then as well. Um, so this is called Set in Stone by OPI Infinite Shine uh, Collection. Um, okay, so my bronzer for the month, I had finished a bronzer earlier in the month, um, I actually think maybe in the beginning of the month, and anyways, I started using my Bahama Mama bronzer, uh, 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 sorry, I don't know why, but I feel like there's a bump, is it just me? I don't know, you guys. I must be freaking, like, going nuts. Anyways. So this is the Bahama Bronzer by The Bomb. It is just a strictly matte bronzer. Um, I'm wearing it on my face today. Um, I always get compliments that I'm really, really bronzed. So, I like this. It's not... A red tone bronzer you don't look orange with it you literally look like you are bronze but without the oranginess so that's why I like this um, you can get the bomb on online or <sighs> in Canada I think they sell them at Rexall uh, pharmacies so if you have a Rexall pharmacy around you you can definitely check out the bomb products there because I've seen them there for sure they're on a pricier side, though, when you do get them in store. If you can find them online on sale, that would be better. I got mine for $10 on Hot Look. So if you can try maybe Hot Look whenever they have their bomb sales, um, it's definitely worth the $10. Um, would I spend, like, the $30 on, on the original price? Mm, I I don't know. I don't know. I'd have to really think about that one. But it is a good bronzer. I will, I'll give you that. There's no shimmer. It's all matte. And it does not have an orangey red undertone. It's very neutral. Um, and that's what I love about it. Talk about eyeshadows now, you guys. I have three big palettes. And I have this little quad. So this quad is by Marcel. I don't know if you guys can see the name on it right there. See the name right here? Marcel. Um, I think this is a Canadian company. 
if I am not mistaken. Um, it's paraben free. Um, and it looks like they were made in Montreal. So yeah, I'm thinking it's a Canadian company. This is a quad, uh, a quad of four shadows. Now, it doesn't say the names of them, which kind of sucks. I, I will tell you that. But when you open the quad up, this is what the quad looks like. And I have really been loving this neutral-ish tan shade here um, to put all over my eyelids. Um, I, You know, this is a quad that's all shimmer. So keep that in mind. It's all shimmer. I... Um, I don't know, like I just really been loving this all over the lid. Um, very simple, a simple look to do when you're in a rush and you don't want to go overboard on makeup. This color here is also nice for all over the lid. Um, this color here, I, to be honest, I haven't really tried all over the lid, I'm not going to lie. Um, I could, I could pull it off all over the lid. It's very frosty, so we would have to see how this goes to be totally honest um I do like these two because they're more on the bronzier side and I like more bronzy gold looks on my eyes because I do have brown eyes um this one I think is a little just a little bit too dark um they're very pigmented don't get me wrong like when you oh maybe it's not too dark when you apply it with a brush it's different obviously um so the finger it's a little bit more softer I don't know if you guys can see that I wonder if I could pull that no I can't pull this off with with a brush um yeah, with this, I might not be able to pull off with a brush just because it can get very intense. If you see that. So the brush would pick up a lot of product and then it would not make it as nice and, and soft as it does show here. If you're interested in this, I do, um, I do get these at Shoppers Drug Mart in Canada. So if you guys are Canadian, you can definitely check them out. Um, I do, you know, aside from the quad is actually not too expensive because it's not, um, a very, very high, it's more drugstore generated brand um so i mean the quad for these two um these two shadows alone was worth the price for me just because they're everyday type of colors i can just wash them over my lids um for every day and not have to worry it does come with a little tiny brush which personally i really don't need i think it comes with two to be honest yeah it does it comes with two um I don't really use the brushes because I have my own, um, but those two bronze ones up at the top are pretty much the only reason why I like this quad, and um, I really do... I really do like how I can use these two as a wash over the lid for an everyday look, especially when you're on the go and you just don't have time to sit there and do a fancy eye like I did here today. Um, don't think that I go into work looking like this because I, I don't have the time to. It's usually a straight wash of one color over the lid blended into the crease and some mascara, sometimes some liner. Um, but most of the time it's it's what I was talking to you about with these two bronzy shades. So that has been a favorite. Okay, so these palettes I'm showing you today are definitely something that I have spoken to you guys about at some point this, this month um, in my favorites. Mmm. I think I do have like a piece of skin hanging off my lip, not to gross you guys out, just saying. Um, so another favorite, my Morphe 350 palette. Like, who was not going to, who, like literally, I was not going to pass this up. This is beautiful. Do you hear my parents? And I'm not going to take that out because when my mom watches this video, I want her to hear herself screaming in the background. Yeah. Um, so this is the 350 palette by Morphe. Um, absolutely love this palette. I have used this on a couple of dates I went on and I love the look it gives. So warm, so sultry. Um, you can use this any time of the year, you know, from fall, winter to summer and spring. They have gorgeous, gorgeous neutral tones that you can use all year long. So that's why I love the 350 palette. Um, definitely worth the price. I think that um, if you guys are really, in, you know, you're very interested in finding a neutral palette that you can wear all year long, um, you want something that has a lot of mass, a couple shimmers, a little bit of variety, this is the palette to go for. I know, I know this palette sells out like it's on hotcakes every time it goes back into stock, but let me tell you something. You stock that Morphe Instagram until you see that they're back in stock, and when you see that they're back in stock, you get up on it and you order yourself a palette. Because it is worth it. The pigmentation is there. The blendability is there. The um, the whole overall quality of the shadow is there. And it's very, very impressive. For the price that you're getting, 35, um, 35 shadows, it is absolutely fabulous. So I'm just saying, you guys, just keep keep looking. Keep your eyes out for it when it does go back in stock. It is, it is amazing. For my next palette, um, I did use this month quite a few times, is my Lorac Unzip Palette. 
So, you know, it's funny because it's such a high end, um, it's such a high end palette, but there is quite a bit of fallout with this palette. I'm not going to lie. Um, I used, I used this palette a few times this month and the pigmentation is there. The blendability, um, is there. You can blend. Sometimes it's a little bit, um, challenging to blend with the matte shades because they're very, very, very matte. So they're a little bit on the powdery side. Um, but the, the actual, uh, let me see if I could swatch a couple here. The actual shimmery shades, um, they're also powdery, as sad as this sounds. Um, see those two? So they're a little, like, the gold is very powdery, I find. I don't know why. Um, and so is this one, too. So, you know, they are on the powdery side. I'm going to admit that. Um, not that I'm that impressed with it. But because the pigmentation is so fabulous on these, I just use Fix Plus to take away the powderiness and intense, intensify the actual color um, on my on my look that they look absolutely phenomenal when they're on the eyes. So I'm willing to kind of um, I'm willing to risk the whole powderiness and use and still use the palette because the the pigmentation and the fact that it's a rose gold palette I don't have like I have my my rose gold naked three palette but it's just not the same this is more like more gold with a rose undertone whereas the naked three palette is more like rose with a gold undertone if you guys are if you're trying to understand what I'm trying to say I'm hoping I'm coming off clearer um, so that's why, like, I do, I do like the palette. There are some flaws with it. I will give you that. Um, because like, I don't know if you guys can see, do you guys see that powderiness on this one right here? Yeah. So, you know, for it to be a high end palette, I'm really disappointed at the fact that Lorac has them really like, they're really powdery like that, like, you know, loose in that way. Um, but I can work around it. It, it. You can work around that type of situation. So that's what I have been doing just because the colors are so beautiful and I don't have any colors similar to what's in this palette. So I have been biting the tongue, just dealing with it because when I do looks with this palette, like I get so many questions on what palette I actually use. So, so definitely a thumbs up for, for the palette, even though it does have a, a flaw or two. My next palette that I've been loving is the Tartlet Original Palette. This is the all matte palette. Um, huh, it's a funny story. So I don't know if you guys can see here in this shade right here. I think this is the shade Power Player. Um, it actually broke. Like, see how the top here it says Tart? Well, that little Tart section, it cracked. I don't know how. And it popped out. So I have, I still have the shadow in there. But the tart portion completely came out. I think it's because these are all matte shadows and they're very dry. Um, so they do crack easily. I do love this palette. A lot of people don't like it. I have seen Kathleen Lights tell tell her subbies that, you know, she doesn't like this palette. It doesn't work for her. Um, you know, obviously everybody has different opinions and tastes when it comes to makeup. For me personally, I love all matte looks. I'm using, I've used the palette today on my eyes. Um, I love all matte looks. Usually women of age are going to wear more matte colors because um, shimmer will just accentuate fine lines and imperfections. Um, so matte shades are, as you get older, are the way to go. Um, but they are very drying and can be very powdery. So you have to be careful. Um, I don't find them too, too powdery. Um, but I do find that sometimes it can be hard to pick up the, it can be hard to pick up the product because they are so dry. Um, but the colors are beautiful. They're all matte. You can go from a daytime to a nighttime look with this. Um, you have all kinds of different options, just beautiful, beautiful different options. Um, more on the purpley undertone type of look, um, that you get out of this, but it is worth it. It is worth it, I find. If you love matte shadows, this is something that you would definitely um, dig your, your hands into. Okay, guys, that was it, I promise. That was all I have been loving for the month of February. Thank you so much for sticking with me through this long-ass video. I am so sorry. I'm going to try and speed it up when I edit. Um, but thank you so, so much, and I will see you guys all in my next video. Bye, everybody. Mwah.